Let's check out the contact section of MiniChat to help you create a real estate chatbot inside of MiniChat. This is the second video of the MiniChat 101 training on this YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and dive into the contact section. Uh, so over here on the left, contact section is right below the home section. Inside here, you're gonna see all of the contacts that have subscribed to your chatbot. You'll see when they subscribed, uh, their gender, and you'll also be able to see if they came in through uh, Facebook or Instagram right there. And when you click on it, their information, you'll be able to see uh, the data that they have, uh, the contact time, uh, uh, language, gender, subscribed, uh, any sequence, sequ sequences that they're subscribed to, um, how they opted in, and custom fields and user fields is all going to be in here. Uh, I'll show you here in just a second some more uh, custom fields that will show up. But first, on the left, you'll see the tags. Uh, these are the tags. If you use a template like the one at realestatemessengerbot.com, you'll have t tags included inside of the template. Otherwise, if you create a tag uh, through one of your chat sequences, then those tags will show up here and you can kind of filter your audience by uh, if they have a specific tag selected to them. So if they have new lead capture, you can click on it and you'll see who uh, has the tag of new lead capture or any other tag that you have have the next one are the widgets that they came that uh, they clicked through uh, so you'll see all the widgets you'll see you know if you sent them a sign writer uh, QR code again this is part of the real estate bot template um, you'll see that you can select that and anybody who came in through that specific uh, widget then you'll be able to track those people as well uh, then you have the sequences. Uh, these are all the follow-up messages that are uh, that you can create inside of sequences, which I'll show you uh, further in this training. Um, but you can sl select any of the sequences and again, filter the audience by that. And then you have ads uh, that you have created inside of main chat that you can filter through the audience in there. So you can also search, filter, uh, you know, search by name. You can filter by the condition. So there's all kinds of conditions. Again, uh, the tag you can search by or filter by. Uh, you have all kinds of um, general filters, system fields, uh, Instagram, text, email user fields, all these different things. Again, these are all part of the real estate bot template, but as you create chat, uh, your own flows, then you can create uh, user fields and stuff to um, be able to filter your audience through. It isn't used a, a ton, but if you are looking for a specific uh, audience that maybe, you know, is looking for a certain price point. So everybody who came through the home buyer sequence uh, and, and selected uh, purchase price, you know, is, and then you type in that specific purchase price, then you can filter it by those people and see, see who's in there. You also have bulk actions where you can select all the, the subscribers or certain subscribers and, you know, add them to it, add a tag, remove tag, subscribe sequence, unsubscribe, set their user field, clear contact, unsubscribe from account, export PSIDs and export export custom uh, to system fields. So those are all different things that you can do uh, by just selecting your whole audience or specific people in there. And then the last thing that I'll show you is that you can create a new contact one at a time. If you want to just enter one person, you can enter uh, them as a contact using their phone number or e and or email. Uh, this does not subscribe them to Messenger, but it does subscribe them to the email and or text where you can send follow-up messages and uh, message blast through text and email to that contact. And then with those text messages and emails, you can direct them back into Messenger so they are a Messenger subscriber as well. So you can do all that. And then you can import lists a uh, similar way. You can just drag and drop your CSV file and uh, upload them with your, their email and or text uh, phone number and then use the uh, email and text follow up either that that you create or uh, if you get it from the real estate bot template. Uh, again, that template is at realestatemessengerbot.com. You can get a link below the video in the description. Uh, but that is the contact section and everything included in it. Uh, the next video we'll be covering is the growth tool section. So uh, if you uh, have any questions about the contacts, 
section, drop your comments below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel to get the next uh, training video on growth tools, and I'll see you guys there.